Hello and welcome. My name is Daniel and in this short video I want to show you cable blocks for Corona Renderer, Redshift Renderer, Octane Renderer in Cinema 4D and Cygis Renderer in Blender. Let's jump into the projects folder here and as you can see we have prepared three folders for you. The first one is called additional formats. Here you will find the FBX and OBJ files. Let's jump into the OBJ folder and as you can see here we have 10 plugs included for you and of course you will get the same with the FB FBX files. Okay, let's jump back into our cable plugs folder and here you will find also the Blender folder and here inside this Blender folder we have a text folder. In this folder you will find all the maps for our plugs and of course we have two TGA um, maps which are the bump maps for the Shugo case and the cold appliance plug case. And that's just for quality reasons um, because with this bump maps you don't get artifacts. Okay, let's open um, maybe the coax plug in Blender and I will show you um, a little bit um, how the shaders are built. And as you can see here we are in viewport shading mode which don't represent our final render result but we can see um, what's happening uh, with our shaders. And let's jump into the shading uh, view here and maybe open the uh, case shader, the Coax case shader here. And as you can see, we have a scratch map included, which consists of a roughness map and a normal map. And they have both the same mapping here, the same texture coordinates. And with this value node, you can simply scale um, this uh, scratch map. Wonderful. And of course, um, we have this uh, roughness map here mixed with a white color. And if you adjust the color here, you can simply adjust the roughness settings. And of course, you can mix this uh, white color with your scratch map roughness. And maybe if I crank this slider up, I will get more of color number two and my case gets more rough. Okay, let's set this back. And here we have the normal map and you can simply crank up the strength slider here, the strength value to uh, get a, st a stronger a normal map or to get some stronger scratches. Okay, maybe I show you how this looks like if it is rendered. And for this, I simply create a new plane and maybe a new material and here choose a black base color. Okay, let's jump into in our world properties and here I load a nice HDRI maybe one from this folder here. Okay, wonderful. And as you can see, we have the right render engine um, selected. And maybe you want to render on your graphics card, card, then you simply choose GPU compute. But now I want to render on my CPU. Okay, let's uh, start this renderer. And as you can see, this renders nicely in Blender. And in principle, all shaders are structured like this if they have scratch map maps or if they have a plastic map. Okay, let's jump into the Cinema 4D folder and take a look at the textures here. We have also a text folder included and here you will find all the texture maps for the different plugs um, for Cinema 4D. And as you can see here, all the different plugs are included in 
uh, different Cinema 4D files for the different renderer. And CR stands for Corona Renderer, OC stands for Octane Renderer and RS stands for Redshift Renderer. And of course we have included two experimental rigs for the cables. Okay, let's load or let's open maybe this Corax cable for Corona Renderer. And as you can see here, we have a material which is called coax cable and this is a material for your cable which you can attach to this um, plug and if you don't want to attach a cable by yourself you can simply merge in one of our cable rigs this first one is called cable rig v1 let's merge it in and as you can see here we have a null object which is called insert plug here so we can simply drag and drop our plug underneath this null object and then we simply move our plug to the start point of this cable maybe something like this it doesn't need to be um, correct so let's disable textures and then you can simply uh, scale your profile in the sweep nerves maybe something like this and let's set a correct angle for this one, maybe zero or one. And as you can see here, we have a display tag attached. It's just to um, show you the polygon count of the cable. If you don't want to see it anymore, simply jump into the raw shading mode and then you are ready to go. And of course, you can simply drag and drop your cable material to this sweep nerves texture tag here and if we jump back into textures or enable textures again you will see you have to correct uh, material attach, uh, attached for the plug and then you're ready to go you can simply um, lock and hide this layer here and then you choose your corax plug with the middle mouse button and drag and drop it underneath you locked and hide layer and as you can see now only the um, controllers are visible in your objects manager and as you can see here if i move this controller i simply um, move the whole cable and of course the whole plug um, is aligned to the cable so i rotate my um, plug head here or the cable head here with the controllers of the spline wonderful that's how this rig works let's um, delete this rig and take a look at cable rig number two so i delete this layers again and reset the cable block back to its original position and then we merge in cable rig number two and that's the same workflow here you simply drag and drop the plug underneath this null object here which is called insert plug here and then with middle mouse button you simply drag and drop the plug inside the locked and hide layer and then you move it maybe something like this to the start point of the cable then you can simply scale the profile maybe you disable textures and then you set the right angle for this maybe something like this and switch back to color shading and of course you can drag and drop the material to this sweep nerves and then we enable textures again and we are ready to go maybe we lock this layer so you have an uh, extra layer here which is called lock just lock it and then we have a locked and hide layer again and as you can see now we have only the controllers visible in our objects manager and here we have a controller which is called controller head and if we move this controller 
you will see we manipulate um, the head and if we adjust the other controllers the head sticks at the same place so first you adjust the controller head and then you adjust the other controllers to adjust the cable Okay, that's uh, cable rig number two. Okay, let's take a look at the Corona materials here and I have created a material for my floor. So let's create a new plane and drag and drop this material to the floor. Then I simply select the Corona sky and here I load in my HDRI map as you saw it uh, in Blender. And of course, I crank this a little bit up, maybe something like this. And then we can start the Corona viewport renderer here. And as you can see here, um, if we jump into the Corax case material, it's the same as you saw it in Blender. We have a layer here and we have a color map, which um, adjusts the roughness a little bit. And our scratch roughness map is multiplied. Um, with this color and we can simply manipulate the sliders here crank them up or crank them down to adjust the different maps and of course here is our scratch normal map also included and uh, we mapped as it with a uh, cubic mapping here so you can simply jump into this uh, texture mode and scale the map and if you don't want to have this cubic mapping you can also jump back to um, uv mapping because all the blocks are um, uv mapped as you can see if i load a new material drag and drop it to the corax and delete all the old materials here and then we load in our um, uv checker here and as you can see we have an uv mapping here and maybe we have to crank up the tiles a little bit to see it a little bit better and let's undo everything and as you can see if i enable uv mapping and start the renderer renderer again um, I can simply scale this scratch map with the tiles U and tiles V. So I crank this value up or down to um, scale this map. And that's how all the shaders are built, um, also for Redshift and Octane. Thanks for watching this little introduction to uh, cable blocks for Cinema 4D and Blender. See you soon and goodbye.